What's going on crypto TV community Hayden back with another video before we jump into today's episode I did want to just show you something that I got in the email uh, it's pretty cool it's a little bit actually it's a lot of bit different than cryptocurrency but I thought it would be pretty cool thing to show you guys so check this out. So I am affiliated with uh, Bang Energy. They're a really cool company. Let me know down below if you guys are familiar with them. They send me their newest products every month prior to them actually going um, public with it. So they sent me something called the Bang Keto Coffee. These are their three new flavors. We have Cookies and Cream, uh, Heavenly Hazelnut, Mocha Madness. And they send me this in a gift box, as you guys can see, before they actually release them. So we have heavenly hazelnut which looks so cool it's like a pre-workout slash energy drink and it's coffee and then we have this one here which is cookies and cream craze they didn't give me the third one which is the mocha madness i'm sure i'll get that later uh, but then we have these black cherry vanilla ketone body drinks we got three we got obviously the oh there's another new flavor new bang Bangster Berry. And then we have the Zero Impact High Protein Meal Bar. A light. It's actually pretty cool, as you guys can see. It's Bang. And then one of these. Otherwise, let's jump into the TA. What's going on, YouTube? Hey, I'm back making another brand new crypto TV episode. In today's video, we will be looking at Litecoin, Bitcoin, Ethereum, as well as XRP to US dollar. As always, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, turn on post notifications, leave a giant thumbs up if you like the content. Otherwise, if you guys were interested in grabbing $25 worth of free Bitcoin, there is a link in the description uh, to an app on the iPhone Android called Abra. Uh, all you got to do is... Like, I believe, add $5 from a bank to it, and they'll uh, gift you $25 as a way to promote it, um, I guess, during the holiday season. It ends at the end of December, so definitely jump on that. I know a bunch of you guys have, and I do appreciate those who did. Otherwise, moving on to today's episode, so we will be looking at the coin market cap at the recent uh, price influx, as well as looking at an article by... Um, I believe it is the Bloomberg, uh, Bloomberg.com, and it's discussing Litecoin founder liquidation uh, lingers over coin a year later. So pretty much talking about Charlie Lee, the Litecoin founder, and how his liquidation is still there and still present within cryptocurrency and within Litecoin. So it's definitely going to be an interesting article to you know discuss and look at. But um, before we jump into that, let's look at the coin market cap. So we're on it now. You can see the market cap is 125.9 bill. 24-hour 20, uh, volume is 21 billion and Bitcoin dominance 53.5. So Bitcoin dominance is, is going down. It's going down fairly quick. Uh, I believe yesterday it was a little bit higher than 53.5, maybe 53.8 or 9. And then we saw a 24-hour volume slightly lower than yesterday. We were not above 20 billion. We're probably closer to 17 or 18 uh, in terms of 24-hour volume. And the market cap is also increasing. I believe 5.9 billion has entered the exchanges. Um, and we do see that reflected on the coins and their change in 24-hour volume. And their change just in the past 24 hours. Looking at the top 10 coins, they're all up. They're all doing phenomenal. You know, I did say and I did mention that $22 was a beautiful buying opportunity for Litecoin uh, due to the fact that it's very low. Uh, it's bottomed out. It's oversold. We needed to pull back up. Current price is $31 uh, for Litecoin, which is a, a massive jump. It's $30.85 on the coin market cap, but on the exchange on Coinbase, it's $31.18. Uh, you can see Bitcoin is trading at 38.61. Uh, XRP is 38 cents. Ethereum is 105, and they're up 8, 13, 10%. Bitcoin Cash, 32%. I looked at the charts. It's nothing special. It literally bottomed out and is retracing back up to its high low MMA. It's literally just making up for previous losses. I mean, which is what most of the market is doing. I guess this is just a little bit quicker. Uh, Litecoin is at $30, like we said, or 31. It's up 6%. And we have a lot of these coins up in the double digits. Another th Waves is up 38.9% in 19 space. We also see Litecoin is number eight, not number seven anymore. I do believe we were number seven. Uh, and you can see how close Tether and Litecoin are. One, 1839, Uh Pretty big, you know... Uh, there's, actually, there's not much of a, a big gap in between that at all. I know it's in a couple millions, but it's not really up by much. 
Uh, we see Stratus, 57% gains. This is just a lot of double digits. 18, 17, 12, 11, 12, 15, 11, 58% Mona coin. There are some coins just blowing up today. That's actually pretty awesome. Let's see. Yeah, Mona coin is number one, 58%, 57, 38, 50, 32. You know, these massive jumps are absolutely phenomenal. Uh, but to, to kind of move into this episode and uh, to discuss what I mentioned in the title, I wanted to talk about an article about Litecoin founders liquidation lingers over coin a year later. So what does that mean? You know, how could that affect uh, Litecoin's price? Basically, it says Litecoin founder Charlie Lee says he's focusing on increasing the use of the eighth largest crypto rather than dwelling on his fortuitous uh, decision a year ago to sell all his holdings at the height of the digital asset market bubble. Um, and we've discussed that too in a lot of the articles. You know, it was, it is a bubble or it was a bubble-ish. Uh, uh, basically, we just saw it's not even it's it's tough because a bubble makes it sound negative ish but it was a correction you know at best i wouldn't call it a market bubble it was a correction you know when you shot up you know you super inflated a coin that high and then to see it crash down is not necessarily a bubble it's just a correction and then it didn't crash either because if you compared it to the previous year or two years ago we're up you know a phenomenal amount we were now we're up like four or five hundred percent so i wouldn't really call it a bubble at best uh it then said at the time lee said that the liquidation was aimed at a preventing a conflict of interest which again i agree with when making comments on the virtual currency this decision hasn't sat well with critics who accused him of recognizing the mania and cashing out ahead and roughly 90 percent decline in the value of the token so there's a couple things to talk about you know if Charlie Lee really was anti-cryptocurrency or or didn't want you guys to know why why the heck would he tell you you know, he posted it on his Twitter that he sold at the top or he didn't even say it was the top. He said he, he just told you where he sold at, you know, and if you guys were semi smart or had a mind of your own, you might want to think maybe if he's selling, maybe I should do it, too, because he knows best. You know, you've only been in the market for a couple of months. Charlie's been in it for a couple of years, you know, five or six years. He definitely might have a little more on his back than you do. So he didn't go against his words. It wasn't really anything he did that was bad he told you exactly what he was doing otherwise he could have said no i'm still holding on and lied about it and in reality have still held on to his coins so i disagree with the people that, that that you know bash on charlie lee for selling you know can you blame him that he sold at the top he was smart it's the only people that complain about it are the ones that uh didn't sell and were greedy and decided to hold on to it longer so it says people will lose money and they want someone to blame. Literally, exactly. Lee said it in an interview Tuesday, and they think for some reason I had the inside information, and that's silly. At the time when I sold, everyone thought it would go to a thousand. You know, it went to he sold a three eighty or something. And then says Lee announced his decision on December twentieth of twenty seventeen, which is actually quite wild because that was exactly a year from today. Um, after the token reached a record high of 375, so that's also wild that a year from exactly today, a year ago, Litecoin was $375. It's been falling ever since and is now trading at $30. The sale was done via several trades at an average price of $200, he said. The controversy may be the least of his worries with few people using the coin. The number of transactions, which includes everything from trades to speculators to payments accepted by merchants, has plunged since peaking in January. Yeah, does make a lot of sense. Um... You know, I, I I can't blame Charlie Lee for doing that. He said it definitely had some effect on people's confidence in Litecoin because people are used to the tra traditional public companies. Unlike CEOs of public companies, I am not paid to increase the shares of the companies. Lee owns a small amount of Litecoin that he uses uh, for transactions, and he said he may still donate some more of his proceeds from last year's trades. My sense is that there will be a handful of cryptos that actually will be used as money, said Charlie Lee. There's obviously a lot of scams and currencies not useful at all, and those values will plummet. You know, you're going to see some coins die and some the strong ones survive. So he definitely pretty much summed up in this article of Bloomberg, which I think is, uh, it's semi-biased, but it's it's pretty legit uh, about Charlie Lee, and I do agree with almost everything that article said. I do don't think they were hiding much at all. So you know, moving on from that, we're gonna look at Litecoin right now, and you know, we drew yesterday an uptrend. If you guys are following the episodes, uh, do let me know if you are in the comments. We drew an uptrend, and we've been following the uptrend for a couple of days now. We we found it yesterday, but it's been on the market since we started going up in the 18th. 
been about two days, not too bad, but it's a very short term, small four hour uptrend, but it's holding quite well. We saw how we would spike up away from the uptrend, consolidate sideways to re reach out to the new uptrend. Then we shot up again, traced out sideways until we retouched and found support on the uptrend. And we just kept doing this numerous times. We did break below it at one point, but we did get back above it. And you can see today where currently we did actually fall below it, and but we retraced back to it using it as a support. Uh, another main issue is we were, or yesterday we were at $33.00. You'll notice that being at $33, the coin was nearing overbought. You can see that may have to do most likely with the slight pullback we're seeing right now. You can see we're kind of trading out there. You know, if things hold properly, we could trade back above. My issue is the fact on the four hour, we are overbought. So we do need to pull back down. That is what, you know, we're anticipating. So a small pullback, you know, maybe down to $29, $30 is necessary to continue a small, you know, growth into the upwards direction for Litecoin. That's it on the four hour. We're looking at Bitcoin on its daily. It is now currently out of being oversold. Uh, it's up at around 54 in terms of its relative strength indicator. You can see it broke through a very strong resistance at 3660 and it's moving higher. It was almost, it was actually above 4,000 today, which is beautiful. Uh, we saw it move. Oh, it seems like it's trying to move back up to its high low MMA, which is around five grand. So it does have another barrier before it gets there at around 4,286, 4,280. That's its next resistance. It's kind of what it's testing out right now, or more or less $4,200. If it can break through that, which I do think I do have confidence with it may be able to move up and retest five grand in the next couple of days. You can see that's where the high low MMA is. We are below that. So that does give me potential to see a move up to there. Um, let's look at XRP. XRP is actually making pretty good progress. Also at around 50 to 51 on its relative strength indicator index. Uh, you can see we have finally broken out of the of the downtrend you know um this does need a hold i'd like to see the candle close outside of the downtrend you can see where we've had previous resistance currently we bounced off a support of 80 dollars and are currently heading up you can see our high low may is at 180 and i think our next resistance is currently what it's facing at around 120. So if we can break through 120, I could definitely see the coin kind of trying to hit 170 to 175 pretty quick. Uh, there's not much resistance, you know, in between that. So it is very nice to see that we finally did break through that downtrend. If we can hold this and ride with it, we can get that inject of volume. We could move up to 175 fairly quick, but the markets, you know, overall are pretty oversold, you know, similar to what xrp did on its daily charts you can see that's what we're kind of trying to see happen within ethereum ethereum you can see where did it go ethereum is below its high low mma it's heading there xrp used to be let's see xrp used to be below its high low mma where it still is but it used to be much lower but you can see it slowly caught up to that in the past one two three four days uh one thing to note is we do have this is a strong resistance not only do we have resistance at around 41 cents 41.60 uh but we also have a resistance of this green band coming into play so it is going to try and move up we need probably another day or two to actually close near the high low mma potentially break above and close in between the green band that would be more ideal but the coin is moving in a proper direction. So that is definitely a good sign. I do think XRP has pretty much bottomed out. I think most of cryptocurrency has bottomed out. And I do think we're going to slowly start to see some very positive uh, prices and move in the right direction. But you can see we started all the way out with Litecoin at 22.53. We're already at 31, almost $32. But otherwise, that's going to sum up today's episode. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, turn on post notifications, leave a giant thumbs up if you like the content, and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Peace.